Minister, Ambassador, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, the third time I've had the pleasure of attending this forum. Uh, I'd like to thank the organisers for providing an opportunity to discuss uh, how to bring Albania closer to European standards for today's information society. I'd like to thank uh, Ambassador Rokinas for his uh, eloquent and comprehensive presentation of a whole range of, of issues which are extremely important for all of us in the European Union and in the development of uh, the ICT world. Uh, digital technology has transformed the world economy and our societies. We see before our own eyes everywhere, at home, at work, and when we travel. Digital solutions are a part of all modern innovative economic activities, and they're engines of growth and of job creation. Beyond economic gains, the digital society has provided opportunities for democratic progress. It allows public administrations to provide better services to citizens and businesses, often at a lower cost. It can directly improve the democratic process and increase transparency through better access for citizens to public administration and to public information. Our future success depends on our ability to make full use of these opportunities. Last week, the European Union presented an ambitious strategy which aims to create one digital single market. In this area, citizens and businesses will be able to exercise online activities in fair competition, irrespective of where they live. It will help the EU in building a connected, competitive continent. Albania has an opportunity to take advantage of the new technology available in the development of its society and economy and to bring it further along the path of European Union integration. In order to build a competitive economy, Albania needs to make sure its economic actors adapt and its citizens make full use of the potential of new digital services. When Albania joins the European Union, it must do so with the capacity to be an equal participant in all of the European Union's dimensions, and that includes the single market, online and offline. This requires alignment with the laws and standards of the European Union, which have been developed to make sure the information and communication technology market serves both the economy and its citizens. In addition to this, many of the fundamental reforms Albania is undertaking to align with EU standards, including economic governance and public administration reform, can only be fully realised through the use of digital technologies. Some important steps have been taken, and these should be further built upon. The cross cutting strategic digital agenda of Albania 2015 2020 was adopted a few weeks ago. This strategy aims towards digitalizing the public administration and improving the government service provision. It will also help to better align Albanian legislation with EU legislation. The number of e-government services for citizens and businesses is increasing. It now amounts to around 75 e-services. 16 institutions are connected to the government gateway platform. But there's still a lot of work to do. Albania has to ensure solid infrastructure for information technology. So far, 11.6% of Albanian homes have internet coverage. Broadband penetration is growing slowly. And the rate is still low by European standards. Albania needs to make sure that its citizens and public servants have the skills to make full use of the digital resources available. And significant work is needed to speed up the implementation of the digital switchover strategy, increasing citizens' access to information through media. Over the past seven years, the European Union has supported Albania in IT solutions for better services to citizens in various ways, through a total of €4 million, Euros, and will continue to provide this support. We'll allocate an additional €2 million Euros to expand digitalisation and improve delivery of public services, because we believe Albania's future is a connected one. Bringing Albania to this future means continued hard work. The digital world doesn't wait. It is under constant development, and it's crucial that with our help, Albania keeps up for its citizens and for their European Union future. Thank you very much.